from Farland. I decided it was time for a little update. Pan around here. I completed the murals. I added some height to them along the edge there and I also put some smokestacks going. Three of them. And I've started the wall. It's far from done but it is started. I haven't put the caps on those and I have many more to build. And some of the panels are just sitting there. They're not actually glued in. Most of them are glued in. I moved you. I've got the plaster cloth all put into the along there and it's uh, along the embankment and it's I'll be ready to paint it soon. I'm working on the village too. Got the streets laid out. Doesn't look too different than last time. but it is a different arrangement. I've got some houses backed up to the tracks. I remember when I traveled by train, I see the backs of houses. So I, I needed some house back. I've started looking at the platforms. I'll show you what I'm doing. I haven't gone very far yet. cut a piece of timber and the, I cut the spacer, vertical spacer for it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use, I think I'm going to use the same method I used over there on Shell Hill. This is Shell Hill. This is how it came out. It's a build up several pieces you have to offset them because otherwise you've got a big joint in the middle but I, I built this one and it fits the height is just about perfect when it's in there there's just enough space for paving stones if they're cut just like I did at Shell Hill if they're cut just right I can have paving stones all along there I'm certain that I'll build a brick wall behind it, behind the platform.